Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is my review on the two-piece race suits from RST. So, it is a two-piece race suit zipped together from the middle here, and it is gonna be one of the cheapest two pieces you can get, which is why I wasn't really looking at it, because I thought, well, you know, for some reason I had a disconnect with RST. I thought it more of a cheaper brand, not as good as A Stars, etc. And for £450, I think around there, under 500 quid, that's for the jeans, well, leather trousers, and your jacket. The boots are separate on top, but again, they were one of the cheapest at £130. All in, you're looking at under 600 quid for a full two piece race suit, whereas you know, just an A Styles jacket's £400 on its own. You're going to be looking at £300 again for um, trousers, and you're going to be looking at 200 quid for boots. So, this is so much cheaper, um, and it fitted me great. I mean, I um, basically tried on everything in sports bike shop um, you know they um <laughs> I, I would order you know a, a particular jacket and i'd order the size below i am the size i am and the size above just to see which one fits um to give you my stats i am five foot ten 42 inch chest uh, 34 to 36 waist although working on it uh, 13 stone and uh, in jeans i'm normally uh, 34 32 leg um, so on here I've got the 44 euro 44 jacket the 42 did fit but it was a race fit and I preferred the comfort fit a little bit of bag and I could get a mid layer under there um, so the jacket was one size up but the pants were a 30 32 and I haven't been in the 32 for quite some time, so it was a, a welcome addition. Now, the pants. Sorry, I'm gonna come up close so you can see this. It has a zip that comes up, and then this, this Velcro here. And what is great about that is I don't have to, I don't know if you can see it, I don't have to zip it all the way up. I can have a bit of a gap. So when your belly hangs over, it can push against it and not be tight. And then you just pull that over to cover it. Whereas most leather trousers will have a buckle and a clasp. So this is just great because you go out, you've had a heavy lunch, you can just unzip it a little bit and still have the security. You also, you know, you, it, it will fit you fine. And you know, when you're hanging over it, just not get in the way. Whereas obviously with like um, my old Alpine stars, you know, you'd put the buckle in, suck your belly in, put it on, then it's hanging over and you're like, oh man. You know, so that is just great. I haven't seen it on any others. Of course, it is a race suit, so you got next to nothing storage. I've got one pocket here, which you can just about get a key, but I think it's more to just have your cards on you. Um, the jacket itself, again, you won't have much storage. You have an inside pocket here, which is hard to get to. Can't open and close it with uh, gloves. Um, and the pockets here on the side are very hard to get to. They're not very deep. Um, and again, you, you're really, you know, holding up. So all the pockets basically are useless, but you've got to bear in mind, it's meant to be a race suit. So they're going to be useless. You know, you need a tail bag, you need a, um, you know, a hip bag uh, if you want to carry stuff on it. It's your usual race suit ensemble here. Everything opens up fully. Um, zip down, zip over, and it's designed ideally to have a gauntlet glove go over the top. Um, I have my Knox Handroid pods, and they actually just go over the top. Fine, I have tried putting them underneath, but it doesn't really work. So it's not for gloves to come underneath, really. Um, and of course, when the weather's hot, you can just unzip them and get a lovely airflow going through there because it just opens right up. Not exactly safe, but sometimes, you know, when the weather's baking. Um, the connector zip is the uh, full 180, and that's really easy to get on and zip round. And then the jeans, trousers themselves, they have your knee sliding pucks. Wish they got a lot more use on mine, but unfortunately they don't. Um, and they're just very comfortable, very breathable. This um, stretch fabric that you got and gussets here, very easy to move around, but the stretch fabric doesn't let a lot of airflow through. It does have a thermal liner, but it's worthless, so just take it out and throw it in the bin. And yeah, yeah, just really nice, simple, cheap race suit. Triple A protected. So you've got all the protection for a fraction of the price 
from a great British band. Um, and then for the boots, the Evo Tech boots. I'm probably going to be too far away, so I'll put a little close up on these so you can see. Um, they are, I mean, again, I went into Sports Bike Shop. Thank you, Sports Bike Shop Milton Keynes. I tried on everything that they have. And, you know, they just weren't fitting right. I am sort of a nine to 10, depending on what it is, uh, nine and a half in trainers usually. And um, yeah, as soon as I put these on, the um, Evo Tech threes they are, they were like slippers. They were lovely. Um, so, and, and they're waterproof as well for 130 quid. Um, really comfortable, really, um, easy to put on. The only thing I've got, and this might be being my first sort of race suit, I don't know if I've, if I've done it right, is I do get a pinching there from where the zip of the trousers is touching. Now I don't know if the trousers, um, I bought them with the right length so they're actually just above my ankles. I don't know if I should have bought the shorter length so they're above my ankles so they fit a bit better in the boot. I don't really know if I was meant to do that or not. It's not a problem, it just means, you know, a bit of bedding in, I suppose. But for me, that I just had that little niggle there. But yeah, I mean, if you're out hunting for a decent race suit, do try the RSC. You can buy it in pieces, so you don't have to buy it all at once. You can work your way up. This jacket, would I wear it just with jeans? I have, um, but I do favour my um, Revit uh, vintage glide if I'm going out just in jeans or if I'm trying to um, have some time off the bike, then I'll wear my Roland Sand. So this is the bottom of the picking, but when I want to go out and do some sports bike riding and be in a well, two-piece, it's my only option, but it's a very comfortable option. And you know, I'm glad I went this route. Um, I could have gone, you know, Revit Quantum with the Revit trousers and then you're like £600 plus and it didn't fit as well as this fits. So next time you're out, do have a little look at the RST Evo option because it's really rather good. I hope that video was useful and as always, thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.